As the crowds cheer the unimpeded flow of water in more than a century, one biologist is more concerned with the residents who will use it. I never thought I, I, would, I would see the day where there's, there's not a powerhouse and there's not a dam right there. Almost every day for, for, for 12 years, you know, I got used to the view here. And as a biologist, it's ultimately extremely rewarding to see the results of my work go to use and a project like this come to fruition. For more than a decade, Schmetterling studied how the Milltown Dam impacted the fish of the Blackfoot and Clark Fork rivers. I've done a lot of studies trying to understand the effects that this dam has had on fish. What I found is that annually, tens of thousands of fish have their migrations impeded by the dam. His research played a key role in the decision to remove the dam. And currently, he is looking at how the dam removal process will affect this fishery. This is such a unique opportunity to study the situation. It's going to be beneficial for people considering dam removal activities all across the country and all throughout the world. Though Schmetterling says he's thrilled to be part of such a monumental achievement, he acknowledges that the successful removal of Milltown Dam has one distinct disadvantage. Uh, I've joked that I've you know, worked myself out of a job, but that, that's a great position to be in. Having this dam gone, these sediments gone, is going to do so much for the long-term health of the watershed that my role in it's pretty pretty minor. Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.